Boom, boom. Uh, all right. What are we? What are we gonna call it? What, uh, uh, twickets <laughs> or uh, twicklets? Twickets, ticklets, ticklets, ticklets. That's right. There, there you go. Hey Jafar. <laughs> hey Jafar. <laughs> Let's do Hey Jafar. <laughs> like, and it's gonna be spelled H E H E Y J A F A R exclamation point two words. Hey Jafar. Hey Jafar. Hey Jafar. Why are you screwing up with Aladdin? <laughs> Trying to do a, a ad read here. You suck, Jafar. Uh, let's see. Uh, 177, right? There you go. This is NSFW episode 177, recorded on May 7th, 2013. Hey, Jafar. All right. Hold on, everybody. Here we go. Let's go ahead and read some ads. Dude, lonely.geek, I'll tell you what, man, if you could find it in your schedule, uh, if you could, uh, he's saying that maybe you could Skype in. Yes, you could Skype in, or I'm just saying, if you're in a position and you could come down in studio, you freaking blew my balls off. Like, I became a eunuch uh, when, when I don't know if you were there for that moment, Justin. But I was. Like, yeah, he was playing a song. Yeah, and, and it was like, it was utterly precious. It was, uh, the song began talking about a magician's daughter, and, and uh, Penelope was listening to the words, and her face lit up, and she sat there on my lap as we listened to, uh, you know, the golden voice of, uh, of, of Zach Holder. And it, it is a brilliant, awesome song, and it was really, really great. So, yeah, take that. Now I gave you a compliment. Music. Uh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Ubles shouts. Now every time I hear HFR, I only hear HFR. <laughs> All right, here's the ad. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by Tonks Coffee. Tonks offers a bi-weekly subscription. Tonks sources their beans directly from the growers. They're roasted and shipped within 24 hours, giving you the freshest coffee beans in the world. For a free sample, visit tonks.org slash NSFW. That's T-O-N-X dot O-R-G slash NSFW. And by the way, Tom, uh, I, I feel like I now know more about Sarah Lane's coffee drinking habits than I ever <laughs> wanted to know. Or, uh, you know, have any interest in knowing, but it has <laughs> brought me closer to being a Tonks uh, subscriber, which I think is the goal of it. Yes, exactly. Here we go. And ProXPN. ProXPN is a virtual private network that allows you to use the internet the way it should be, anonymous and unfiltered. For 20% off your new account, go to ProXPN.com slash twit and use the code NSFW. More. And Shutterstock.com. With over 900,000 high-quality video clips, Shutterstock helps you take your creative project to the next level. For 30% off your new account, go to Shutterstock.com and use offer code NSFW5. Got a little Shutter dick. Hey, Justin, uh, or uh, Tom, I, I was actually reading my messages. Um, pe some people in the chat are saying that uh, it froze during the ad read. Uh, did did you? Everything sounded okay to me, but I was only half listening. It sounded fine to me too. I I didn't notice anything. I think uh, it might be my video that it froze. Oh yeah. Um, um, and here we go. Here's the the wrap. -up. I'm only watching the Justin feed though. All right. This week on NSFW, we are joined by Tom Merritt. We discuss the impending big news about Harry Potter 8, spoilers, and the summer music series. It's all coming up on this edition of NSFW. Well, unfortunately, uh, yeah, I can't. I, we're, if, hey, so tell me about tell me about this uh, this alternative to Skype again. What's it called? Viber. V I B E R. Yep. And you said you tried it, but it didn't have proper drivers. No. Well, I have the Black Magic Intensity Extreme yep. box, 
which doesn't play well with anything, including right. the current version of Skype. So mm -hmm. that's not a surprise. Uh, but uh, when I used it with my Logitech C910, it worked great. Okay. Uh, man, maybe we should have done that. Then we would have had video. So uh, how, how does it work that's different? It's its, its own uh, VoIP system. All right. Well, I want to try. Uh, its its deal is that uh, it's a mobile app, and they just released a desktop version that does video. Yeah. So <laughs> the, their big thing is like you can be making a call on your desktop, and then just transfer to your phone and keep going. You won't lose the call. Man, I really want to try that. Um, uh, hey, uh, I cannot turn up the volume to desktop Twit Jammer B because I'm receiving yeah. my own program back. But uh, if if you want to, I guess we could wrap things up. We went pretty late today. Let me let me stop this recording to make sure that it worked here. Can you pump up the volume? Uh, pump up the volume. Pump up the volume. Dance, dance. Uh, TV Zegon says uh, audio quality was good, video was decent, but no HD or sixteen by nine support. Uh, oh wait, you're saying that's what your experience on Viber is. Is that That's true? true. Uh, I did not get a 16.9. Even though I had a 16.9 signal going to it, it squeezed it to 4.3. Well, here's what I would encourage you. Uh, do you have Wirecast? Can you get your hands on Wirecast? Because like, it's, it is extremely svelte and it does good uh, interlacing removal. You're talking about me? Yeah, yeah. Because then, then what you could do is you, you just hook up your... Then you don't have to have drivers that play nice with your black magic. You just use no, your Blackmagic. No, the only way to get the G10 into the computer is the Blackmagic Intensity Extreme. No, no, no. It's But once it's in there, Wirecast can de-interlace it and do the virtual not, device driver. And then and then and you could put it well, out at Mac, 720. So, uh, okay, I don't, I, is Wirecast out for Mac? Mac? I thought there was. I, I, It's been since January since I troubleshot all of this, but... I don't believe any of these other solutions worked. That I don't remember why. Uh, yeah. Well, I, uh, okay. I'm going to see if I'm looking. I, before I. Oh, it's $500 for Wirecast. Well, there's that. Yeah. That may have been the problem. I don't know. Because frankly, I'm not having any other problems with it with, over Skype. If you're just trying to troubleshoot Viber. Yeah. Oh, where am I saving this to? I've got to see. SFW. No. I'm clicking. All right. Well, unfortunately, I can't find where I saved it to. So let me look at the... Uh, at the, let's see. You guys can speak among yourselves while I try to find this because I don't want to hang up until I know I've got it. I also have no idea what's going on. Yeah. Okay. Hey, by the way, you want to know how much, uh, how excited people are about Star Wars? I mean, how, Star Trek? How, how much? Uh, SFX Magazine, a big feature here, features an interview between Simon Pegg and J.J. Abrams. And I'm sure, of course they talk about the new movie. That's, that's well, I mean, out. Simon Pegg's in Star Trek. Oh, yeah. J.J. Abrams directed Star Trek. Great. Talking about Star Wars. <laughs> of course We're recording now. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Okay, so as far as this, I... Uh, we're talking about The Walking Dead. And oh, this looks great. The local recording to, to looks fantastic. To do something like come to Revision 3. Like... Perfect. Wait, I don't even I look at it like that. that. I, I Awesome. Okay, good. I can breathe a sigh of relief knowing that, that it's actually there now. Uh, one, three, oh, five, oh, seven. Hey, Jafar. Hey. Hey, Jafar. You forgot your hat. <laughs> Did you see that Kickstarter for some guys that wanted to do um, a, a a wicked style treatment of Aladdin with uh, from Jafar's point of view? No. Yeah, and it's like it's kind of tricky territory. It seems like kind of a frame rate kind of uh, topic. Um, hey, Jafar. 
uh, because like like it's clearly based on Disney's Aladdin, but it's parody because it's you know the other guy's point of view. This is one of those one of those like if it's its own. Th- this goes back to our our discussion from before, Tom, about mm-hmm. whether or not it's just you know hiding behind parody or that's sufficient. Which is all a matter for the judge. Yes. In, 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 in all honesty. It's, it's just, a, you just don't know. Agreed. Unless you're Russian. <laughs> in which case, you just do everything. Yeah. Know. Just what does it matter? You're in Russia. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, I guess I'm going to shut down. I got I to gotta call it an early night tonight. Um, Are you flying? No, I've got uh, I've got appointments in the AM though, um, unfortunately. But uh, dude, I'm sorry for the return video thing. That uh, the the, the trade off for that was it, here's what you missed, Justin was was an hour and a half of troubleshooting to get uh, video and stuff working. And the uh, once we got uh, Tom on, it was clear that uh, Skype six uh, just for some reason only transmits video in Minecraft vision. It was nothing it was nothing but uh, but blocks. I have Skype 5.3. That I'm definitely the problem here. Well, no no no, but well, but, but that's the video what I had too. The video was crappy. Yeah, the video was crappy last uh, couple of times. Like uh and in fact, ironically, the even though everything is is working better than it's ever worked at the highest resolution and the best quality that it's ever been at, the first comment uh, on last week's episode was like the show just gets more and more lo-fi speaking to the fact that you know we had your skypes we're all uh we're all super pixelated and and you know real chunky slow and so uh even though even though whatever we'll we'll figure out something and get it get the quality better in but it's definitely a skype issue at that point which to be honest is a relief because it really sucked to uh, uh to think that there was something it's not a cpu issue it's not a bandwidth issue it's not a wirecast issue it's not a process you know it it just i'm glad to blame it on skype squarely <laughs> well that's good to know right because i mean at least at least it's you know there's nothing i can do I mean, I uh, all right well cheers all right, lovely, beautiful people. All right. Don't go changing. Bye. Bye, guys. So Bye, long. Everybody. So long, Twit. So long, everyone. Uh, you know what? I don't know why we kept on with Twit, I'm just realizing, because the whole reason we kept on with Twit was so that they could talk to us, but then they kept leaving their mics open and eating potato chips, so I had to mute them, and then they sent our own program back to us. And so I kept a mute of which I don't know. I ran that the entire time. Uh, All right. I'm shutting down the stream right now. So long, beautiful people. Bye-bye.